I'm Peg Breen from the New York Landmarks Conservancy. We're at Kahila Kadosha Yanana on the Lower East Side for another tourist in your own town excursion. It's the only Romeo Note synagogue in the Western Hemisphere. It's a congregation of Greek Jews who came to America in the early 1900s, bringing their own language, customs, and prayers. The synagogue they built in 1927 followed traditional New York synagogue buildings of the late 19th century. Its brick and cast stone facade uses elements from both classical and Moorish traditions, semicircular keyed arches of the second story windows, and a cusped arch motif around the main entrance. There are copper stars of David on the peak in the parapet, and large stone tablets of the law set within a stone arch in the center of the second story. A smaller version above the main entrance is flanked by lions and topped by a crown. The interior is a mix of the vernacular and the ornate. Pressed tin ceilings show the building's modest origins. But the stained glass windows contain Jewish symbols. The traditional eternal light is surrounded by memorial lamps. There are other traditional memorial plaques, and the founders and donors are remembered on tablets above the entrance. But the second floor of the synagogue commemorates the larger story of the history of Greek Jews and serves as a mother synagogue for Romeo notes throughout the world. Tradition says that Jews arrived in Yanina fleeing a boat which capsized off the western coast of Greece shortly after 70 AD. They were being transported to Rome to become slaves. The synagogue is named for the city in northwest Greece that once held the largest Romeo note community. During World War II, many of them were sent to Auschwitz and almost all were killed. Photos and exhibits here keep the memory of the Greek Holocaust alive. The synagogue also publishes an online newspaper that combines articles on history with news of Greek Jews today. It reaches thousands of Romeo notes around the world. The synagogue holds regular tours, including a popular lunch tour featuring Greek kosher food. The synagogue has been restored in recent years to look as close as possible to how it looked when it opened in 1927. This is an amazing congregation with a history that deserves to be known and honored, but it's also a vibrant part of life on the Lower East Side today. Thank you.